Hello everybody and uh, good evening to all of you. I hope that uh, all of you are in the best of health during this uh, situation or pandemic that we are in. And uh, uh, during this time, uh, during this time, GSDPL requested me to do a Facebook live uh, Facebook live uh, teaching so which uh, uh, I thank them for the opportunity that they gave me and uh, during this uh, four sessions we'll be going through uh, some of the topics that uh, uh, that have been given to you so Today, mostly, we, we will be going about how to transfer the current pandemic situation into our spiritual path. So, first, before going to all this, as this is my first time going on Facebook Live, uh, if it's like uh, funny, I hope that you forgive me. And like, uh, firstly, the before we start any kind of uh, dharma or anything, the most important thing is motivation and at the end it's a dedication so as it is like we won't be doing it live but uh, uh, I hope that you do it yourselves uh, uh, before we start and after we end so that's the thing so before we go through the uh, before we go to the topic uh, for, for the first uh, three to four minutes I'll be taking some uh, I'll be uh, taking three or four minutes to answer the comments and after that uh, may I'll go through the topic and uh, at the last maybe we'll have a question and answer session and so during this first few minutes I'll be reading the comments so Tenzi Dojang even Chong to you all so uh if you so during this time oh hi uh harlan daru who is watching from sabah and borneo so thank you so much for watching and hope that uh, i would be able to provide some uh benefit to you and so the now we will yes chashi delay pearl chan so uh now i think uh, we will go through the topic so firstly <coughs> today we will uh, firstly start about uh uh the we will have an overview of the three next three sessions about what we are going to do and uh, how we can transform this pandemic situation into our spiritual first spiritual path so firstly i would like to first talk about the current situation a little bit the current situation is uh, in a way really scary and also really what do we call a really a pandemic so uh, during this situation a lot of people have passed away a lot of people have uh, passed away and uh, due to the disease and a lot of people are sick with the disease so it is really sad to uh, see that this disease is affecting a lot of people affecting a lot of people everywhere not just in one country but everywhere around the world so it is really sad to see just people dying for from a disease which should not have happened also uh, during this pandemic it's not only the disease that we are dealing with it's uh, also the uh, fear of getting infected and fear of getting the disease and the fear of uh, 
what do we call uh, fear of losing your job during this time and uh, during this time and uh, like a uh, fear of losing your job and etc like that so but uh, the thing is that uh, even though there is uh, a lot of fear during this pandemic we can use this as an opportunity to uh, opportunity to improve ourselves have ourselves grow right so we of course uh, it's not just one country that's affected it's a lot of countries that are affected and uh, dealing with the situation and uh, hope we i i really hope that uh, we'll be able to go through this go through this together go through this pandemic together and uh, uh, be able to live through this that then also uh, i would like to talk about fear and anxiety being uh, fear and anxiety affecting us right affecting us uh, the fear and anxiety is really dangerous right uh, there are like uh, studies showing that studies showing in science that <coughs> uh, if you are fearful and have a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress uh, lot of stress you get uh, your immune system gets uh, immune system gets what we call immune system gets uh, what we call lessened yeah so uh, to fight this disease of course our immune system needs to be good so the fear and anxiety won't do you any good so it's important to be alert and uh, be uh be informed about who, what is happening around the world and what is happening to uh everybody but it's uh it's uh, really important to not let the fear consume you not to panic even though there is a in the in the word pandemic itself it is if you look at the first and the last word it's like panic right uh, panic with the epidemic put into it so uh, it's not really good to panic as it deteriorates your uh, immune system so to improve your immune system what you can do is remain calm and also like uh, 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 not only remain calm but also have social distancing and everything like that whatever the governments are suggesting or lots of governments have put us on everybody on lockdown so um, we can do that to uh, what do we call not let the disease affect us so much also we must be careful not try to panic and I would like to take this time to thank all the doctors and the uh, researchers who are trying to uh, create a medicine for the uh, disease and uh, are really getting uh, really uh, on the front line of the disease right uh, they are really giving their they are trying their best to save the lives of the uh, in uh, the people who are infected so so the question now becomes that during this situation of course uh, we have the fear of getting infected and we have the fear of uh, losing our jobs or the economy failing or whatever right so uh, the main thing is not to panic on this not to panic too much and if we panic all, uh, too much then it will affect everybody around us uh, it will affect you of course and everybody around us now one thing that uh, you should try to remember during this whether you during this time period you can use this time to improve upon yourself and now that this 
pandemic has become our reality, this is the situation that we are in, uh, instead of panicking, then you could make it as a part to improve yourself spiritually or physically or mentally, right? So, uh, if you panic, then it's no use. It's just creating problems for ourselves. Uh, as it's quoted in the Shantideva's text on the way of Bodhisattva, right? If, uh, if a situation arises and you are able to change it, uh, why is there a reason to be unhappy about it and if a situation arises and you cannot change it it's a situation that is fixed and must happen and then what is the re reason to there to be unhappy about it right so like that so exactly like that uh, we we must not if you can change it, if you can change the situation, right, then why must we be unhappy about it? And if you cannot change the situation, then what's the use of being unhappy? It's just creating a mental stress and a mental burden upon yourself, uh, which will affect you, uh, which will affect you physically and mentally both, right? So, uh, so during this time, uh, of course, there are uh, what we call mantras that will help you go through this uh, those of you who were fortunate to get the initiation from Taya Rinpoche and uh, stay in the I think uh, GST will organized a retreat for the Lojunma retreat right uh, what do we call it in, in English I forgot uh, the okay what uh, I don't know the English name uh, but it's called Lojanma, right? So, uh, the Lojanma, the, the Lojanma mantra, you should recite it. Of course, uh, not just recite the Lojanma mantra and go outside and say that uh, I have I have recited the Lojanma mantra. Now I won't get the disease, right? Uh, it, it doesn't work like that. So, of course, it will help you uh, not be affected easily but uh, usually what happens is we have two types of causes working in this world right the substance substantial cause and uh, contributory cause so even though you may have uh, one cause in your favor the other cause may affect you right so that's what the lojama mantra of course you may have uh, heard about it so i will not uh, go much into it and also, uh, w what all the experts are saying about social distancing. The social distancing, even though the, the disease right now, the COVID-19, uh, even though it may affect you, it may not kill you if you are a healthy person. And uh, if you are above the age of 60, it may affect you worse. And if your immune system is deteriorated or immune system is low, then it may affect you more right so even though it may not affect you it may just be like a cold symptom to you uh, it's really important that you not go out during this time because uh, uh, even though it may not uh, affect you you may infect you may be a asymptomatic carrier they may be able to infect other people right so it's really important to have that uh, social mantra okay the mantra okay the mantra I read a comment right now sorry so I'm going a little bit off course of the from Anitan right what is the mantra okay so the mantra is on Pishat Panashawari Sawad Zara Trasha Manai Soham so I'm sure if you contact GSDPL organizers they would be able to uh, they would be able to give you the English uh, copied version of it. So uh, thank you so much for asking that. So during this, the social, oh, where was I talking about? Yeah, the social distancing. The social distancing will, will really help you. Uh, try to think of it as a, this way, not think of it as a, 
as a burden upon yourself but think of it as you are benefiting you are benefiting others even though you may not be in fact you may not not have the severe symptoms of the severe symptoms of the um, severe symptoms of the disease uh, uh, but you may be able to affect uh, other people right so if you affect other people then due to that they may die they may pass away they may lose their life so it's really important to have social distancing in this matter so what as a as a buddhist what can we do what can we do spiritually to turn this social distancing into our merit right so what social you can think of this right if you are thinking of uh, social distancing for yourself of course it's for yourself uh, once it may benefit you uh, if you, uh, if somebody else is affected it will benefit you uh, of, of not getting infected of course that is there but of course we have to think about uh, general right uh, we may think like uh, this if i don't go out i will benefit uh, you are benefiting the other beings other beings by not affecting them right so these are the you can turn the social distancing into merit or into your practice spiritual practice so this is really uh one way of uh, turning this pandemic into your into a path or into a merit uh, that uh, of course for the, for the sake of others i will not go social uh distancing right into you can you can you can turn this into your path so this is the thing so this is this is how you can contribute contribute right uh, of course like uh, contributing uh, contributing uh, what we call I'm sorry if I'm not going to all the comments because like uh, uh, I have close the comment section and uh, maybe I'll read it later and or maybe I'll try to go I'll try to answer some of the questions right so um, how can you contribute during this pandemic situation of course the contribution doesn't have to be big right they are like uh, of course you can contribute to uh, maybe there are some size that you can contribute to and also you can contribute simply by i don't know whether there are things like this but uh, you can contribute by simply giving food to the stray dogs <laughs> yeah strays and uh, like uh, homeless people like uh, even uh, of course d uh, staying within the rules of social distancing right also like uh, Oh, thank you so much for the question. But uh, uh, this question is really nice, Ramuchi. What do you think of the uh, Chi Ling Chong, right, Ramuchi? What do you think of the fake news and those that share it without knowing it's fake with the intel not happening? Of course, there. This is a real good question, and uh, uh, the fake news. One thing is, uh, you must be really careful. Uh, what the what we call this as a epidemic? No, not an epidemic. Sorry, pandemic. Uh, uh, we also know is an infodemic right a lot of fake news are going upon uh, social medias and a lot of uh, uh, fake news will be forwarded to you so one of the main thing is even though your intent of helping uh, the intent may be good but it may create a panic right so of course the if you think about the intent it's really good that you are spreading the news but uh, uh, we have this kind of mentality there that if we know something we must spread it to somebody else so before even if you have the intent of helping instead of helping them it may create a what we call fear it may create fear or panic for that other person so before sharing anything it's really important that you check the uh, status of the news and you check the um, 
what do we call uh, credibility yeah credibility of the news and uh, uh, do that right so uh, what can you so where was I talking about yeah the I was uh, talking about the current situation and how how can you contribute to that uh, you can contribute to simply uh, simply giving foods to the stray animals which don't I hear there are like uh, problems there and uh, just it doesn't need to be spiritual right if you are doing a if you are into spiritual practices and if you are a buddhist of course you can use that as an opportunity to uh, think that you are uh, for the sake of other living beings i'm doing this right and uh, that's how you can contribute but uh, even if you are not practicing spirituality and uh, not uh, following a spiritual path or even though you are an atheist right just think as a human what can you do to contribute right like uh, feeding the strays feeding the homeless and uh, trying to um, social distance right this these are the things that just as a human that uh, you will be able to contribute to towards this cause towards this cause of uh, getting through with this disease right and you could also uh, wash your hands while washing your hands also you can you can think you can turn this into your path you can turn this into your path like uh, if you don't wash your hands and the virus gets on your hands and you give something suppose you are giving the food to somebody and <laughs> it's infected by your hands right so these are the small things that we can turn into our path like uh, thinking uh, for the sake of other beings that I would wash my hands and try to help them, right? So these are the things that uh, we can contribute even though uh, the, the real, I feel the real contributors right now are the doctors and the nurses who are really on the front line like uh, uh what do you call not even caring for their own life but of course they may they care for their own life but uh putting that below the sense of other people life trying to save them right so as a, a non-doctor or non-health professional these are the things that you could do so the current situation is really hard to comprehend if you think about it right uh, if you uh, then this situation can we can also practice about uh, impermanence interdependence so the question comes now that how do you practice impermanence right uh, if you think before three or four months what we were doing we were thinking that life is going on life is going on like uh, our usual workflow our usual work right and uh, we are stuck we are stuck on our own uh, what do you call own um, work that comes one after one and suddenly suddenly this disease uh, suddenly this disease created a situation where you can't go to your work where you can't uh, just you are just stuck in your rooms right you can you have to work from your room and you can't go out if you think of that you, you can notice the change which is a big change actually right in the three four months of course from the usual life we have been uh, uh, come to a situation where we cannot go out so these are thinking of this as a sign of impermanence to have more uh, belief over the power of impermanence right so when you think of the impermanence of course you can think of it from uh, during the situation you can think of this as two sides right so like uh, whatever you are doing 
uh, before and uh, it has suddenly changed into a situation where you are not doing the usual things your workflow and uh, of course if you are having too much anxiety and too much stress if you think of impermanence like this will go away right this will go away this will change this won't remain as a permanent as uh, every every phenomenon that is created by a cause can be has to be impermanent so when we delete that cause it will stop going if you are having stress you can think of that right but if you are generally thinking about the impermanence of the samsara and impermanence of the worldly things then you can think like what you are doing three months before and what you are doing now how much of a big change it is so this this is how you can uh, incorporate impermanence in your uh, practice at this time use this situation as a uh, analyzing point of impermanence right also this uh, pandemic has COVID-19 has disrupted our workflow and life as we know right so uh, this also has shown us like our dependence upon the world like we usually think our actions won't affect the world so much we are just a we are just a small small thing in it right small uh, we are stuck in our, our country right but uh, this COVID-19 has if you think about it is it's really uh, really taught us taught us about the connectness the dependence upon other people what the other people do not only the other people but also of course yourself right the dependence of uh, like what you do whether how how it will affect other people so it has also taught this suppose if you don't do social distancing and if you don't wash your hands properly and if you don't uh, take care of what you do you may infect other people or you yourself may get infected so it has taught us about inter uh, yeah dependent depend that we are dependent on others and others are dependent on us we can think like that right we can think of this the situation the situation itself has really i feel i feel strongly about that that situation has really taught us that what we do will can affect others what others do will affect us so this in a way itself shows the um, dependence right and that we are not independent uh, i'm not saying that independent in the other sense but independent in the sense that we are not inherent of uh, existence we, are, we don't have an inherent existence right so uh it can it has shown us that uh, we are all connected like a, a action somebody does or uh what you do how will it affect other people so that's the thing we can use this uh we, we have you we can use the covid 19 situation to practice about in, uh, impermanence and we can use this covid 19 as a uh situation to uh think about think about dependence on others right and when after the after this uh, pandemic ends then of course not just leave at it but think about what we lost right of course we lost a lot of lives we lost a lot of lives right uh, which didn't have to be lose if the pandemic didn't occur so and uh, practice upon it practice like uh, the dependence of sorry uh, on everything it has also shown us the uh, it has also sh shown us that we are really fortunate to be healthy and uh, have freedom of going out or not and have freedom of health luxury uh, to practice right right now of course uh, there is a saying like uh, 
there is a saying in the Kadam Master's uh, teachings, right? Uh, when you are when you are full and when you are in good health, you don't think of spirituality. And uh, when something gives you a problem and just like uh, mm, uh, then you think of spirituality, right? Spirituality or was it like that? Yeah, I think it's like that. I can't I can't remember exactly the exact sentence and I'm having trouble translating it to English so there's that so we really have to appreciate uh, what we have uh, during this uh, we, what we have before this situation arise so there's one question coming up I would like to answer it from Lillian Lau right uh, good evening Lillian and what can we do to pray for of course the uh, the prayers that of course all of you know Lama Chaba is usually what we do of course prayers like may may they attain a precious, precious human rebirth the, the thinking that you can do is may they attain a precious human rebirth and may they be able to have a good life in the next life right thinking like that may help and of course uh, reading text and thinking it's for the benefit uh, like that may help so now where was I yeah <laughs> uh, sorry if I'm getting uh, what do we call uh, I'm changing tra sometimes questioning answer and sometimes I'm doing the topic right so what was I talking about oh yeah the we uh, the COVID-19 it has really taught us that how fortunate we are the precious human rebirth as we say it right how precious this life is and how fragile it is right how fragile uh, just a small bit of disease can cause this much problem uh, so so thinking about it you can also contem contemplate contemplate on how the precious human how hard it is to attain the precious human rebirth or how hard it is to attain a life right and uh, uh, how would it how would it uh, how sorry I'm getting lost for words uh, yeah you can practice about the what's that what's that called uh, the ten ten the ten and the eight uh, I don't know the English term the 10 okay just leave it <laughs> yeah if I get it I will come back to it and the 10 benefits of having a oh yeah yeah the 10 freedom and the endowment right 10 freedom and the 8 endowment oh, yeah so uh, we have this you can contemplate and that and of course the persons that who have lost their lives to this disease they have lost a precious human rebirth a precious human life so it's really sad if we think like that right uh, so that's the thing and now the COVID-19 has also given us an opportunity to of course usually uh, the monks of course they are different usually we are stuck on study and study and practice of course uh, that's what we do but for a lay person usually uh, we are stuck in this work and work and work after work and work right we don't have the time to practice spirituality that much so now this COVID-19 has given you an opportunity to stay at your home and practice right like uh, practice whatever you can and spend it has also given us time to uh, uh, given us uh, time uh, given us opportunity to, to spend time with our uh, family and friends right of course uh, during this time there may be people that uh, will use this uh, disease as an disease as an this situation this situation as an uh, opportunity to 
exploit uh, this, but it's important to think what's the use of exploiting if there is no, uh, if it's affecting others, right? So the main thing that we should really, 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 really be doing at the current time is uh, not worry about not work. I'm not saying not worry. It's good to worry because uh, what the scientists say, there's a fight or flight response, right? Uh, it's a, what do we call it? natural response to a situation like this. Of course, it's good to have a little bit of fear, but uh, 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 to uh, not be too consumed by it, right? So I would take this question from uh, uh, Alan Shen. Okay, so you are asking. Let me read the question. This means sudden job losses, temporary business shutdowns. What's up? We can do to also ameliorate the situation. So Alan Shen has asked a question, like uh, the pandemic is currently causing society anxiety and. Uh, desperation right so of course it will affect the economy of course it will affect the businesses uh, and so on but uh, the most important thing is as long as you are alive not everything is lost right as long as uh, you are not uh, dead or so on uh, it's not everything is done so the prayers that we can do is uh, of course the what do you call uh, the removal of obstacles what's that called uh, uh, i can't get the exact name of course uh, the one of the things that instead of just reading prayers of course that may that will be hard for you to think that uh, we can uh, how can we help right uh, if I get the name later, maybe I would uh, help this. The anxiety, of course, to reduce the anxiety, we must think of, like, I'm fortunate to have not lost my life or not fortunate enough to be affected, right? Then the loss of job, uh, we must really set our priorities, right? Whether the job is more important or whether being in the good of health is more important right then if we of course it will it will be it is hard for a person to just think like that but we must set our priority set for the reason i think we have been live for around 40 minutes i think yeah, uh, around 40 minutes so um, maybe uh if you have any questions then uh, I think we have five minutes, I think five or five or five minutes, yeah, five minutes for the questions, around five minutes for the questions. So if you have any questions, uh, I would, uh, you can just flood me in the comment section and uh, I will try to answer them as much as I can, right? So as this is my first Facebook Live, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, really uh, funny just talking to a screen, right? Uh, I'm just in front of one screen and I'm just talking to that. It's really funny. So uh, it's like uh, you talking to yourself, and <laughs> so uh, it's really funny. So there was one question. Uh, that I was not able to answer Jamie Yo, right? Sorry, uh, I'm not being able to, yeah. Mm, one minute, okay? Yeah, Jamie Yo. Of course, uh, there was a question this since the beginning of the outbreak, many monasteries and people have been doing practice, hoping to pacify the situation. But in reality, we see the outbreak creating wars. They are globally around something cases and how should we maintain? Yes, 
this is a nice question uh, of course we have been doing uh, prayers and everything right but not only the prayer only the prayers just only the prayers won't be able to contain this right uh, that's the with this logic as I I told you before of course you should read the Lojunma prayer and do that but you should also follow the advice of the experts on this field right like uh, of course there are two types of uh, causes the substantial and the contributory causes uh, now that uh, we are suffering from this we are we already have the cause uh, of the what do we call uh, substantial cause for all of the persons right now that uh, prayer may help some people and it may not help some people depending on how strong your faith is and all but uh, of course it's not just the prayer that will really um, help you suppose in the bodhisattva's way if bodhisattva doesn't act on helping others like uh, uh, practicing the just by thinking uh, may everybody attain enlightenment of course you are doing good but uh, of course you won't be uh, uh, able to clear everybody right so there's one question i think uh oh it's joy's son right uh what do you advise us to do since we are all stuck at home so <laughs> that's basically what i was talking from the beginning <laughs> right so during home of course of course uh, in india also we are stuck at home and uh, uh, there's 21 days lockdown uh, so and the monastery is also it's a lockdown so we are we are uh, for personally i'm trying to learn as much as new things i can right during this free time uh, uh, and try to practice that usually what i won't be able to practice because of the busy schedule right and try to read new books like uh, of course not everybody is a book reader but uh, you can try to improve your skills and try to uh, get more healthier right so uh, so that's what you can do and uh, practice spirituality or uh, try to get healthier and exercise and also read books and try to learn new things uh, actually personally I'm learning drawing this is a new uh, that uh, skill I want to acquire, right? Yeah, so Kelvin Del K. Law, this Kelvin and you. Mm, yes, we can do that, right? As uh, it's mentioned in the Lama Chava text, uh, uh, the uh, bad karmas that we did, uh, of course, it's ripened. Of course, that doesn't mean that you should go and get infected, right? you should not get infected you should take the precautionary uh, preventions right uh, so a lot of questions are coming in now Rimbiche based on this can you briefly talk about karma yes of course i will talk about karma so right now the session is like uh, about to end so the karma we would talk it in a later stage right later sessions later sessions like uh, uh, i think uh, we'll be going more in depth uh, into the in the la later three sessions but briefly about uh, karma how will it be possible so uh, the karma usually uh, we need two types one is karma and one is the contributory cause right the karma will create the contributory cause and will affect us so the one thing that you can do is uh, uh, do the four powers try to purify this karma and all so that's the thing so how would you think we would think the way about the future of others yes so 
so that's the thing uh, if we fear too much then it will create a blame game right we will start to blame others yeah so it's really important that you take care of yourself but you must not play the blame game it is a product of our fear taking about uh, yourself so thank you so much i think uh, we are over time so i think we will stop here from the teaching and uh, later on we would go more in depth into the teachings we would be talking about compassion we will be talking about karma and we will be talking about meditation so how to meditate right so that's the thing so i thank you all for joining me in this today was just an overview of what we could do so i really thank you for joining me and i really thank you we hope to i hope that uh, we could meet again later on right so thank you so much and hope you wash your hands and stay social distancing so thank you i will stop this